Hello everyone, this is GM Varakobian with 1000 GM and we're going to be doing the recap video of round number 6 of the US Women's Championship 2022. In this matchup we have Tatev Abrahamian with a white piece against Ashrita Esveron. So let's take a look. E4, C5, Knight F3, Knight C6, D4, Knight C6, Knight F6, Knight C3, Knight bd5, a6, b5. Now the idea of b5 is to control the c4 square and the b4 as well. So now he goes here, knight d5, bishop e7, bishop, f6. bishop takes f6, c4. Esron had a very interesting tournament. She would win three, and then she would lose three. She was like, she lost with three. Uh, she started very badly, and then she won three in a row. Then she bounced. She was really back and forth. She didn't do very well at the end. But we know Ashrita from her previous events, and we've seen her at the 1000 <coughs> GM St. Louis tournament. So where she got her WGM norm. So very strong player. Very well prepared in the opening. Look at the clock. Just look at her clock. 133 on the clock. She's gaining time. She is gaining time, you know. H4, G4, F6, A5, Bishop E6, Rook A7. Now Queen goes there, and now G6. Mm -hmm. Rook H1. Bishop f7. I mean, just, just waiting. Sort of a little bit waiting right now. And takes. Um, uh, I'm not quite sure about this. I mean, I think Tatev is also well prepared. She obviously knew what she was doing here and got a very decent position. I just like the move b3 in this position. Would have, would have made sense to play the move b3. And then put the king on h8 perhaps. b3, king h8. And continue from there. Uh, one thing I, I know that, you know, sometimes the move B3 is avoided because uh, A4 could be very strong to put pressure, but uh, it's not so easy. So let's go back. King F8. And, uh, but B3 wasn't played. So he goes here, H5, takes, takes. And now the point is... Um, now this bishop on h6 is quite strong, and maybe black can try to use the g file to attack. Bishop g4. C7. Uh, perhaps b3 would have been interesting to create some pressure, and if he takes, you go to b7 and you put pressure. Okay, this would have been good. Uh, so he goes here. C5, trying to create pressure here. Another move is just to play B3. That would be nice too, to play B3 to have everything uh, protected. Would have give Tatev some solidity in this position. But she played uh, C5 and that opens up the position. <laughs> and when the king is in the middle, we usually know this is not a very good idea to open up the position with the king in the middle. But I think it's probably she just missed something. Queen b8. Wow. Okay, just winning a pawn, but it's a very, very difficult position to do anything. Queen e2. Knight b4. Knight takes c2 check. And the point here is actually if you take. Ah, this is very strong. Queen takes b6, putting pressure. If you take, simply rook goes on c2 and now attacking the queen. And now if queen d1 goes in, there is a rook c1 option to take. Takes, bishop takes. Mm -hmm. So... F1, queen e8, queen e8, queen e8, 
Um, here actually it looks like Ashrita could have won much easier had she played the move knight takes it to check. F takes it three, bishop c4. Now attacking the queen. And uh, if you take, that will simply lead to the move queen takes b6. Takes, picking up the queen. Okay. And if he goes here, take only two check. King takes c2, rook b8. Yeah, it's basically a check. And there's a check, there is rook takes c5 as well. Okay. Very nice advantage. This has became a problem. Queen a4, putting pressure. And picking up on e4 now, h1 rook is saying, yeah, it's very difficult. And again, look at the time situation. 58 minutes for s run And only one minute for the tef. Check. Queen a2. Should be six. Now after e4, just simply resign because now threatening this side. So suddenly everything is hanging now. E takes f3, check is coming up. If you take simple check, and trade everything, take on g4. And if you take the queen, then simply bishop takes. Take back bishop c4 and simply taking the knight on g4. That's going to be a nice, nice position for black. So uh, very complicated game. But I think one thing we know from just general principles, from looking a lot of these games and uh, you know doing a lot of the videos, we notice that one thing, guys, when the king is in the middle of the board, we have to be very, very careful here. Here, I think Tate was actually doing decent here. You know, she's fine here, but just opening up the position with uh, uh, c5 is just makes things uh, more difficult. You know, so. Um, Yeah, that's why I'm not sure. I'm really not sure about this move c5 here. It, the king is in the middle. It, the position opens up, and that's going to be beneficiary for the player who um, has a, a better development. Okay, and that's 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 actually s for run here. So that's why this move should have been avoided. Again, just a move b3. Keep things under control. Keep it close. There is plenty of weaknesses here. The position is quite unclear. It's hard to tell who is better here. Like take perhaps. You don't want to take with the knight because knight will go to d4, so take with the queen, rook g8, f3. Mm -hmm. So that's the idea. Mm Four. Let's say King F two. It's quite unclear the position. Seven. Queen H six. Six. Yeah, as you, as we can see, it's just it's, it's still a big fight here. I, I I prefer white, but again, it's it's uh, it's not a not an easy position for either side. Okay. So for example, takes takes. Yeah, it's not uh, easy at all. You know, 
you know, it's about roughly, roughly equal position for both. All right, so that concludes uh, this round six recap. In this round, we had lots of decisive games. So S4 round one against Abrahamia, Zatonski drew with uh, Tokerjanova, Sabina Foyzer lost to Megan Lee, Irina Crush won against Talia Cervantes, Jan won against Pakidze, Jennifer Yu drew against Alice Lee, and uh, Wu lost against Suzuki. So at the moment, uh, quite a few players are doing well. Zatons, uh, sorry, Crush, Megan Lee, Jennifer Yu, they're all doing quite well so far here. Thank you, everybody, for watching the round six recap of the U.S. Women's Chess Championship 2022. We'll be back with round seven shortly. Thank you. See you next time.